other houses. I was tempted because I see some down the road that look a little more finished. So we'll see how we're looking when we get to the end. Hi, it's Natasha Brazil with SoulByNet.com, associate broker with Virtual Properties Realty in Georgia. Today's video is going to be about the new community enclave at Logan Point. Uh, it's in Loganville, Georgia, Walton County, Loganville Schools. I am, however, going to start by telling you about their sister community, Central Park. I've done a video on that, um, that community, so check it out here and the information will also be down in the description box. Uh, so yeah, that's their sister community. It is a Loganville address but it's Grayson Schools. Um, that's how close Loganville and Grayson can be. It's like how a lot of cities in, in um, Georgia can be that way. Like you can literally be in Loganville, take a corner and now you're in Lawrenceville. So yeah, just FYI. So Central Park is in Loganville, Grayson Schools. It is in Gwinnett County. That's their sister community. Um, I actually had an appointment there this morning uh today's actually saturday and just sidebar i know a lot of people think realtors work all weekend uh i actually work on weekends by appointment so i had an appointment there this morning with a lovely couple a lovely family um their son is just the absolute cutest and yes they secured their lot out at central park and it, it was everything just worked out so well because they saw the floor plan that they wanted online but they hadn't actually walked through it so after we were done they were able to walk through it and then they really felt like that really like sealed the deal for them and they really felt good about it so yes great news for them on that front uh so yes yeah, so i was telling you about central park because that is their sister community um enclave at logan point um, they are, their model home is not even done yet. So they are, I'm gonna say they're just starting off, right? And I do have uh, clients that are under contract there. And I feel, I thought that their house was the furthest al along until I went driving through the whole community yesterday and saw that there are two houses that are even further along than my client's house. 
But regardless, I, I mentioned Central Park because I know um, a lot of people are referred to go to Central Park to get an idea of the floor plans and, you know, just to be able to see uh, more finished products uh, at Central Park, even though they want to buy at Enclave at Logan Point. Uh, so I am going to have other videos in the description box below um, for previous videos that I've done uh, for Logan Point. Like one is a reserves that was a DR Horton community. Um, check that one out because I believe I did like a drive to and from so you can like see the area. And then um, I think I did one for James Jameson Glenn that was a Chafin community as well. And I think I did Marine Park, which is nearby so you can get a feel of the area. So back to Central Park, I just want to give them a shout out. Like the meeting today, yeah, it was just, it was like a, a relief. It was like a breath of fresh air, especially the week that I had working with a different buyer and she was trying to get in at and no knock. It's just, you know, different companies are doing things differently. And if you haven't seen this video um, that I did on a, an update on phase two for different communities, I'll put it here and it'll be in the description box below. Um, but you know, so, different builders are doing things differently doing um, bids highest and best. So yeah, working with her this week, it's like defeating. Like I I'm not even the one buying the house, but it's still defeating for me, like putting in these bids, not getting, first of all, you're waiting. Like, hey, have you heard anything? Have you heard anything? No, you haven't heard anything. Reaching out to the agent. Thankfully, you know, he's he's been good and saying, you know, you know, we're just waiting to hear back from corporate. And she's like on edge waiting to hear something. And then we finally do hear something. It's like, no, they went with somebody else. But don't get discouraged. Like, just, you know, keep going. And it's just like, it's, it's defeating. It's, yeah, that doesn't make the uh, home buying process um, enjoyable. And that's essentially what's going on in the resale market now. So it's, it's not unheard of, but just to go through that in the new construction space, yeah, that sucks. Like new construction is just, you, you know, once you put your money down, you get the contract, you know, you it's, it's yours. But now with this new thing of some builders are doing um, bidding and highest and best and submit your offer. I get it. I get it. And I'm not knocking anybody because this is the market and they can do it because the demand is there. Um, but I just appreciate builders like Central Park that are not doing that, keeping the integrity in the um, new construction space and just keeping the joy in buying new construction, just knowing like with my buyers today, like we're, they're in there, they know like, okay, we're gonna pick this lot. Yeah, we want this, this, this in there. Like it's just, a, it's a joy to the process. So that's a plus. And then just FYI, Central Park, and then also Enclave, they have, um, they have pre-sales and then they're gonna have, they have spec homes. So like Central Park is further along than Enclave. Uh, so yes, Central Park has um, pre-sales. They have a certain amount that they can sell per month. And even that's, thank you Central Park, thank you there because not all builders are doing pre-sales. Like some are j only doing spec, like you pick nothing. You pick nothing, you get what the builder has put into this house and that's what you get. So Central Park does have you know, spec homes available and they have several of those available that you can pick, which have nice finishes in those. And then you have others that, you know, people just want to go and pick what they want to pick. And that's, you know, a longer build time. So they give you both options. So I'm looking forward to when the real estate market returns um, back to, you know, that. But, you know, I don't have a crystal ball to tell you, like, yes, it's going to return back there at this time. So this is what it is right now. So I just want to shout out for, you know, just doing what, keep doing what you guys are doing. The last thing I just need to tell you that this video is going to be choppy. This video is going to be choppy because I actually started this video last night. Last night, yesterday evening, I stopped by Enclave at Logan Point to check on my buyer's property um, to find out that, you know, they've reached the stage where they started locking the door because they're closing 
in a couple of weeks, so it was exciting. I was like, oh my gosh, the door is closed, but I, I'm, it's 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 good. I'm fine. I'm fine that it's locked because now people just can't walk in, uh, you know. So it's fine. But while I was there, I was like, you know, let me go ahead and do a video because someone commented on um, a previous video and asked for me to do a video on Enclave. So thank you, I appreciate you. And so I, I did the video, but it was evening time. So it was dusk, it was so pretty. So I did go ahead and do the video, but I know it was getting darker. So today I actually, before coming uh, back to the office, I drove through the community um, so it was lighter. So you're gonna see some video that looks lighter and then you're gonna see some video that looks darker. That's why it's gonna look a little bit choppy, but just know. So I just wanted to explain that's why the video is gonna look like that. The last thing, be sure to check out gaNewhome.com. That is a website that is my website that I will put new construction updates um, that I get. Like it's not an all encompassing website, but as I am out there getting information, um, checking on properties and I, you know, I hear things, get things, I will add it to that website as a, you know, you guys can, you know, check it and get that information. And then for further details, contact me. And I think that's about it. So we're gonna go ahead and get into the Enclave at Logan Point video. Hey, it's Natasha with soulbynet.com, associate broker with Virtual Properties Realty. And today I am at Enclave at Logan Point. I'm actually in front of my buyer's home. I came to do a progress check for them. Um, what's today's date? Today's November 19th. We're actually about to close on December 6th and we reached that point. I went to go just walk in and the door is locked. So while I'm over here, I had someone ask about this community. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring you guys a video. So you'll see that there's not a lot going on over here, um, not yet. Yeah, the, the model home isn't even built yet. And that is going to be the model home, I think right there. The model home is not finished yet. Uh, so I think I'll either walk down there or drive. Just, just stay tuned. We're gonna check out Enclave at Logan Point. A few moments later. So I stand later. corrected. I think this is actually going to be the model home. This is what they've started in the community. Uh, they are doing waiting lists. Essentially what they're doing. Uh, yeah, you, you might as well say waiting lists because they are releasing homes a little bit at a time. So once homes are released, they'll notify the people that are approved and on the waiting list and then first come first serve essentially. Um, I did a video on the reserve at Logan Point and I will link that in the description box. I'm sure I'll include a card here. Be sure to watch that video. I also did a video on Jamison Glenn. If you go straight down here, um, it's down there. But watch those videos because I did like drive, um, drive twos so you could see like the area around like Loganville. Um, I did uh, driving by Meridian Park. Um, so be sure to check those out. But for now, let's go check out this home. We can get into it and Right now, it's 528 on a Friday evening. And you see what I'm out here doing for you guys. All right, let's go in here. Let's see if it says what floor plan this is. Oh yes, this is a Wakefield. Wakefield. Let's go check out the Wakefield. There's no light. Okay, hopefully you guys can see it still. Yes. So the Wakefield, this is a popular plan has a bedroom um, on the main. Opens up to the bathroom. Closet right there. Garage, mudroom. Right. You can't quite see the magic yet. You see it a little bit. But yeah, this kitchen gonna be something once it's done. And I know because this is the floor plan my clients got. So over here is, the, is Enclave, over there is Reserve. 
and you'll notice Chafin Communities. This is their little signature print that they do on back porches. See how quiet it is? The other day I was over here, it was like three something. I've come on weekends. It's just nice and tranquil over here. Um, yeah, Jamison Glen, you go straight down there. Look how pretty sunset is. That's gonna be a doozy. They just sprayed the glass too, but okay. All right. Let's go upstairs. This is popular, a popular floor plan because it has a loft. And this is gonna have spindles here. I'm curious to see if they did the seven foot shower on this one, my clients did. So you have a bedroom here. I know it gets dark, bear with me. Another bedroom here. Closet. Bathroom, too dark for you to see. Closet, washer and dryer. Oh, this is the one that has Tease with my clients and tell them this is going to be my bedroom. Um, and then you have the master main bedroom here. Oh, this is going to be so nice. The builder in the reserves, um, DR Horton, over there. So they did not go with the seven foot shower. So I'm gonna insert pictures. <laughs> uh, I laugh because on my Instagram, and I'll, I'll insert it, <laughs> um, I did a, you know, just a video in my client's shower showing you like how big the shower is. is. New construction check-in, and I just have to take a moment to show you this a shower, seven foot shower. So they did the seven foot shower and they have like a little bench. So they don't have this window here. So toilet and then you have a closet. I'm not gonna go in there because it's gonna be really dark. All right, so I'm gonna get out of here and I'm gonna give you guys a drive through of the community. Yes, I'm gonna give you guys a drive through of the community before the sun goes all the way down. Um, yeah, if you're interested in Enclave at Logan Point, give me a call. All right, I know, I know, I know. I say I'm done and then I end up going into another one. Let's just see what floor plan this is. Okay, I don't see it. Okay. So this one has a dining room here. Ooh, okay. Ready for their cabinet. So this has a bedroom down here and bath. And this is open. I gotta find out what floor plan this is. Fireplace. Main bedroom. 
main bathroom, double vanities. So it looks like they did a seven foot shower. Main closet. Oh, this has a Jack and Jill. I'm sorry about the light, guys. Did not really plan this. Jack and Jill. Okay. Man, I was a daredevil. Okay. All right. Matt, stay focused. Just, just walk to the car. Don't walk in any other, just, just walk to the car. All right, gotta change. Oh man. Oops. I did good, I did good. I did not go into any other houses. I was tempted, because I see some down the road that look a little more finished. So we'll see how we're looking when we get to the end. All right, let's go. So guys, I'm feeling like, roll down the window. I'm feeling like they still have roads to develop because yeah, those green, we're gonna call them spokes are for houses and the road isn't, you know, isn't finished. So I, they still have a lot of developing to do. So I'm gonna find out how many homes are gonna be in this community in total. This is exciting. Yeah, and there's several roads that look like that, like, still needs to be finished. I could be wrong, but that's, that's what I'm, I'm seeing, or what I'm figuring. Like this one, for example. See, that has to be right. Because it's green going all the way back there, but the road isn't finished. And I'm not gonna film this little boy walking with his dog. So I'll keep the camera facing this way. All right, and now I'll put it back. Okay. Same. Uh, same here. Got another one right here. And then you have another one right here. Look how pretty that is. Oh my goodness. And I'm rolling backwards, okay. So beautiful. No, I gotta get out and show you this. I, I just have to get out. Okay. Do y'all see that? Oh, that's so beautiful. Okay, all of you guys that are moving for some, you guys need tranquility. Come on. About to head home and I emailed the on-site agent just, you know, just to ask about how many homes were gonna be in the community in total and if they were gonna have a swimming pool. She's so awesome, she got back to me right away. Uh, so there are gonna be 164 homes total. And yes, there will be a swimming pool in this community. So, woo -woo. all right, I am, I am wrapping up here. Again, if you guys are interested in this community and 
want an agent to represent you, um, whether you're local or you're not local, you want somebody to be your eyes on the ground, um, please go ahead and give me a call. And yes, while I'm here, I'm gonna shout out to my clients that are closed. By the time this video goes up, they will have closed. So shout out to the rehos.